Wow, the Cricut Explorer wireless Bluetooth adapter. They say it makes the Explorer wireless. I wonder if it does. Wireless, wire, <gasps> Ken! Ken, come here! What? Look, the Bluetooth adapter, it's wireless! Really? What? Hi, and welcome to Crafts by Two. I'm George. And I'm Ken. And today, we're reviewing and installing the new Cricut Explorer wireless Bluetooth adapter, which makes your Cricut Explorer wireless for cutting it from your computer, and when they come out with it, the iPad app. So we've unboxed the Bluetooth adapter, and we're going to install it into our Cricut Explorer. So let's take it out of its plastic casing. And the instructions say to turn on your Explorer. So we'll turn it on and wait for it to power up. And then it tells you to take the case off the Bluetooth adapter. So there's this little white end here that you slide off. And you flip it so the word Cricut is face up. And you slide it right into this port right here. And you push it in until it clicks. And the reason the Cricut did that is my finger hit the load mat button. So see the blue light? That means it's installed and working. Now we go over to our computer and set it up. So a couple quick notes before we jump over to our computers. First, you should check to make sure your computer has a Bluetooth adapter. We show you in the following videos how to do that on Macs and on Windows. If your computer doesn't have a Bluetooth adapter, you can buy one for between $10 and $20 at places like Amazon. We'll put a link in the description for this video of where we got ours for our Windows machines. You should also check to make sure that your Bluetooth adapter is compatible. You can go to www.cricket.com slash Bluetooth for a complete list of Bluetooth adapters and devices that are compatible. Once you have your device paired to the Cricut Explorer, you can pair up to eight devices to that Explorer at any one time. So if you have eight computers or eight iPads, you can have them all linked to the same Explorer. In the front of the manual, there's a device ID. As you can see in this picture, our device ID for the Bluetooth adapter is Cricut-01DF. That name will show up when we're trying to discover Bluetooth devices in Windows, a Mac, an iPad, or any other device that supports Bluetooth. So here we are in Windows 8.1 at the desktop. You need to make sure that your computer has Bluetooth in it. So the easiest way to do that is by going up to the right hand corner, coming down to settings, and going into the control panels. Come over to hardware and sounds and click. And then go to your device manager under devices and printers. If you have Bluetooth, you'll see this selection that says Bluetooth, and if you click the arrow, you can see which Bluetooth you have. So our computer does have Bluetooth built in, so we can close this window. The easiest way to set up a Bluetooth device in Windows 8.1 is come to the search control panel window and just type in Bluetooth. And you can see it reveals an add a Bluetooth device button, so let's click that. It's going to scan the area for Bluetooth devices, and it found one. So we're going to click it, and click Next. It's asking for a passcode, and in our instruction manual, it tells you that your passcode is 0000. So let's type that in now. And click Next. It's setting up our device.
when it's done, we're good to go. So let's go into Design Space and choose a different Mother's Day card. Let's select this one. And say make it now. We're going to click Go. Oops. And sure enough, our Cricut is showing to load the mat. We loaded the mat and we're ready to cut. That's all that there is to it, cutting wirelessly. So here we are in Mac OS X version 10.9. If you go up to the Apple icon and click, we're going to come down to System Preferences. This shows your Bluetooth adapters. If you click on Bluetooth, so it's scanning for known Bluetooth devices, and it found our Cricut. So we're going to say Pair. Unlike in Windows, this version of Mac OS X automatically tries passwords of 0000, seeing that that's a very common password for most Bluetooth devices, so we didn't have to type it in. Some versions of Mac OS X require you to do this, and some don't, so your results may vary depending upon which version of Windows or Mac OS X you're using. That's all we had to do to pair it. Now we can just close the system preferences. Now let's go try to print a card from Design Space. Um, let's pick this Supermom card. We'll say make it now. Then we'll say go. Sure enough, our explorer is now asking me to insert the mat. And we're all set to cut wirelessly. So there you go. We showed you how to install the Bluetooth adapter into the Cricut, as well as how to set it up on a Mac and on Windows. Installing it is actually pretty easy, too. Yep, and it's really nice to be able to not have those wires cluttering up the table. So remember, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up on YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed yet, we would appreciate it if you did. We really appreciate your comments too, and your feedback. If you have any ideas for videos or things you would like some more information on, let us know. And until next Tuesday, or probably sooner, we'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Bye.